My name is Max Benecke and I'm the highest ranked iRacing driver in the world. And today I'm going to show you how to brake in order to be faster. Sounds weird? Well, you better stay tuned. Driving fast is not only a matter of stepping on the gas. It is also very important to know how and especially when to brake. As you can see, braking at the wrong time can result in a crash, while braking at the right time with the correct pressure gives you a significant speed boost. First things first, we need to know what happens to our car when we brake, and we also need to know what happens if we brake too hard or not hard enough. Braking does not only mean that your car slows down, but also that the vehicle's center of gravity shifts towards its front. Logically, speeding up moves the center of gravity to the back of the vehicle. So, the first thing we learn. If we brake while taking a corner, the car will have more grip on its front tires. By doing so, you can take a much tighter turn. Let's jump into our car and load up a track. We will use the red bull ring as an example in this video, but you can use these techniques and tricks on any other racetrack. As you can see, red bull ring starts with a long runway. That means we will be very fast coming into the first corner. It is now important that we brake at the right time with the right amount of pressure. Not too much, but also not too little so we can drive around the corner nice and easy. Also, when going into a corner, it's important not to brake too hard because your front tires could potentially lock up. You won't be able to steer properly and crash into the guardrail. And that is definitely not where we want to end up, so let's get back on track. Coming into the second corner, we have to brake harder than the first time because it's a rather sharp turn. If you miss the timing, don't panic and don't jam on the brakes. Instead, brake softly and use the hard shoulder to take the turn. Also, applying too much power on your brakes while steering may lead to oversteer. In this case, the back of your vehicle will start to move faster than the front due to the shifted center of gravity. As a result, your car will spin around. This effect is called oversteering or drifting. Some drivers use this method to drive more effectively around the corner, but it requires full control of your car and a lot of practice. You can try to learn this technique after you master the basics of racing. All right, we keep talking about the right timing to brake. If you have trouble finding it, here are some small tips for you. You should start by driving around the track you want to learn and find remarkable spots and places. You can later use these as marks to remember the right timings for when to brake or when to speed up. Continue by experimenting with different speeds and find the ideal line for driving around the corner. Knowing the track is important because braking is all about the right timing. That's why practice is needed before starting a race. You now learned your racetrack and the needed techniques for braking and driving through corners. So, let's stop talking about brakes, but floor your car.